All right, now it's time to move on to the next question. What is the difference between drawing and sheet models? So I'll go ahead. and swap to presentation. So, drawing and sheet models. The drawing model is a reference attachment of a saved view of the design model, which is what we were doing all of our design work in just then. While a sheet model is a reference attachment of the drawing model. Uh, you can you can think of the drawing as an intermediate model between your design and sheet models, while the sheet model is your final product. At first, this may seem kind of redundant, but it allows for more control and better organization. An example of this is you can do any or all of your annotation in the drawing model so that the design model isn't as uh, cluttered and only contains the actual design work. So let's take a look at what this looks like. I'll swap back to open roads. All right, so here we have one of our drawing models that were created. I'll go ahead and open up the models dialog under the home tab and the primary group. These are all our models that just got created are our drawing models and our sheet models that got created from setting up those name boundaries. So I'm just looking at the first one here. We most likely won't go through all of them. We'll just go through a couple of them. So we'll first take a look at some of the annotation that's already popped up here. So notice we have a north arrow and a label over here on the right. Now this is this is automatically done when cutting your sheets. Um, you can choose something called an annotation group, and we'll talk about that more here in a little bit. Um, but with that annotation, it's, it will automatically fill in uh, north arrows, labels, stationing, really whatever you need or what you usually need. Um, when calling out things in your drawing. So let's, I'm going to draw your attention back over here to the models dialog. So this gray symbol is what we use for drawing models. As you can see, this is just a portion of what you'd see in the design model. But as I just mentioned, this space is great for all of your annotation. Of course, you can still include annotation in the design model. It's pretty common for um, stationing to be included in your plan view because it helps with the rest of the design process. But maybe you don't want to include every single label that you'd see on the final product. So let's go swap to a sheet model now. So this white symbol is what is used for sheet models. This is representative of what you'd see once you start the printing process. So let's take a look at the reference properties of our drawing and sheet models. I'll go up here to the primary group under the home tab. It references. So as you can see here, Hold on, Let, let's first look at just either of these settings. All right, as you can see here, the sheet has taken on all of the properties that we specified during its creation, and it is indeed referencing the drawing model. So let's swap to the drawing model where we will point out settings here called synchronized view you'll have more options here in the drawing model. So we'll go ahead and swap back. All right, 
For the most part, it's almost identical to what you'd see looking at the sheet model properties. But there's one setting here that I want us to look at. So synchronized view has five options in it. Um, by default, it is usually set to volume only, um, volume only, and all properties uh, mean that the saved view controls the reference file attachment settings. So the saved view itself. If you change it to presentation only, uh, it's much of the same, but it will activate clipping options. So if I were to, for example, swap this to presentation only and hit OK, you'll now see that up here we can we've unlocked some uh, clipping options. You can also see those if you right click. I can clip the boundary or delete the clip altogether. I'm going to swap it back to the main option we want to look at, which is settings from design model. Settings from design model, um, it's kind of like what it sounds like. It keeps the drawing model synchronized with those view attribute with view attributes and level settings of your default 3D model. Uh, well, default 3D for cross section, default 2D for plan. Um, so the only other option in here is none, but as you can guess, this doesn't synchronize the view at all, really. You, uh, you can technically activate the clipping options with none, but your drawing model won't be synchronized with the save view anymore. All right, so in summary, those settings, really all they do is change how updates to these reference files will work. Um, I'm going to keep it on settings from design model. Uh, and anything I, any of those settings, the view attributes or levels that I change in the design will update in our drawing and sheets. All right, so now I want us to go ahead and investigate annotation groups, which brings us to our next question. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.